Hey there everybody, it's me Joey P. Joe P's up here and welcome to Joe Knows. That's right, five things that I know, week three version of the NFL. And the first thing I know is this. The first thing I know is that Alvin Kamara is going to run rough shot all over the Atlanta Falcons defense. This is a defense that for the last two years and change now has struggled mightily against running backs who catch the ball in the backfield. Just look last week at McCaffrey. You think Kamara is better than Caffrey? Because I do. And guess what? It's going to be a long, long day for those Falcons defensive players chasing after Alvin Kamara to no avail. All right, the second thing that I know in week three in the NFL is this. It's time to trade Josh Gordon. That's right. If you're a Josh Gordon owner, it's not going to get any better than this. Sure, yeah, the upside is that great 110-yard, two-touchdown game. But look, Josh Gordon, even if he is healthy, eventually, at some point this season, right, he's still got to learn the Patriot playbook. He's still got to filter into this offense and get the trust of everybody. He's still got to make sure he's not too immature. He's still got to stay out of trouble. That's a lot of things he needs to do. And right now, there's a lot of people in a lot of leagues who would love to have Josh Gordon just based on the theory of him being with Tom Brady, whereas the practice of him being with Tom Brady and the Patriots might not be as good. He's still probably the third option in that offense anyway. I'm just saying, Edelman's coming back in a couple weeks. This is your peak value for Josh Gordon. All right. The third thing that Joe knows for week three in the NFL is that Chris Thompson is averaging 23 PPR points per game. Chris Thompson has become very useful in the last two years. Obviously, the injury last year was a bummer, but Alex Smith is the perfect quarterback for Chris Thompson. Why? Because he can't throw the ball downfield. That's why. And there's a great situation with a Green Bay defense that's just frankly not very good. So for me, it's all in on Chris Thompson this week. 100% that means not just your season long, but in daily as well. Lots of opportunity here for Chris Thompson. All right, the fourth thing that Joe knows. Joe knows that on Green Bay's side of this same game, Aaron Jones is gonna emerge as the running back. Yeah, that's right. Jamal Williams, you had your two weeks to prove something. Ty Montgomery, I've seen enough. Aaron Jones, it's your show, baby, and I hope you run with it. And I'm telling you right now, I think that one big play of Aaron Jones could possibly turn the tide of this entire running back situation in Green Bay. So buy your Aaron Jones shares now, friends, while they're still cheap, because after this week, mm, they're going to get more expensive, I think. And the final thing that I know for week three in the NFL is this. Josh Rosen will play. That's right. The guy who was supposed to be the most... Oh, I don't know, pro-ready quarterback, according to most scouts, is now the fourth guy in this group to potentially take the field. That's right, Josh Allen's actually on the field. Baker Mayfield just led his team to a victory. There is no reason right now to not have Josh Rosen on the field. Arizona, it can't get worse. I understand the prospects of putting money in Bradford. I understand the veteran, blah, blah, blah. The Bears are coming in this weekend. They're going to absolutely destroy them. By the third or fourth quarter, you're going to see Josh Rosen playing football. And then after that, he's got two weeks there against the 49ers uh, and another team coming in there, Seattle, I believe, at home. So those are two situations where you can kind of ease Josh Rosen in a little bit. And finally, finally, make David Johnson relevant again. All right, you can follow me on Twitter at JoePizzaPia17. For all of our great content, head to FantraxHQ.com. I'm Joey P. That's what I know.